September the 20th uh, election day here in Canada. But I decided to get out here for a little walk. I've casted my vote uh, a week earlier and uh, after another week of wonderful uh, and challenging uh, ministry and work is uh, just absolutely fantastic to get out here and look at that just awesome well it's been week a uh, couple weeks of uh, wet days actually but uh, thank God uh, we don't have uh, much of the sun today, but we do have the suspension bridge here and uh, rather dry, so that's okay. And just about 15 minutes drive, you know, you're getting, uh, yeah, to have a treat to yourself for a suspension bridge experience. As well as incredible fall here. Ah, oh, water is just stunning. Well, it looks like there's another waterfall over there. It must have been a ages since I, you know, came to visit. Yeah, this park. This park is actually like 20 minutes drive away from where I'm staying right now. I'm not sure why, but because um, I guess one of the reasons is, you know, in Vancouver, here in North Vancouver especially, there's so many parks around, just absolutely unending of trails and mountains around the hike. But I found this one to be absolutely stunning. Yeah, I've been hiking for a couple of hours. It's Monday, my off day. And even though I have an evening visitation today, but yeah, there's nothing better after another challenging week. It's challenging simply because, uh, well, I think, uh, you know, the best part about my work and life, I'm very grateful of for the last seven years, uh, chosen instead of stationing in one particular place, like in London or you know the state in Springfield or Vancouver I am given the honor to be able to travel and um, yeah having to visit new places once every three months and um, being based you know for a year in the Martinique in the Caribbean uh, due to COVID-19 that was okay counted it as a blessing a great privilege but I count it a great honor, really, uh, just to be able to work uh, wherever, whenever the Lord opened the doors for me. Instead of limiting myself to one place, nothing wrong, I think, if you like, you know, stability and stationing one place, so be it. But I decided seven years ago, you know, I thought, if not now, when? So I decided to take a, a leap of faith, really. It's a leap of faith. No longer the familiarity, you know, being in the same city and same bunch of friends and uh, yeah, same uh, batch of uh, colleagues to work with. Um, challenging because, you know, every three months uh, you are given the opportunity to work in the, or with different group of people with different expectations, lots of differences, you know. Uh, different city, different beer, different culture, different languages. It's challenging, uh, but I love it. I love it. If not now, when? And being, you know, exposed uh, to so many differences and challenges, instead of dwelling in my own comfort zone. So, yeah, opening up a different uh, dimension of life, a different horizon, really. And I'm thankful for that. Very grateful indeed. Could I have done better? I'm sure there are room for improvement, tons of it. But so be it, it's been good so far. I'm very grateful 
and I continue to grow and continue to stretch uh, my worldview as well as you know my spirituality uh, stretch uh, my comfortability as well as working you know with a new set of uh, leadership all the time uh, it can be very very stressful and challenging um, you know once every so often every three months six months and to be thrown into a new cycle of uh, unpredictability let's put it that way but I'm thankful in spite of all that and being in a new city new country and new work environment well provide as well what about new you know nature and uh, new trails new bunch of uh, friends and people you know to brainstorm and to discover new things but regardless of choosing to uh, station in a place or uh, being a nomad being you know stretch in new places all the time but I hope that we're all growing and challenging ourselves to uh, something new all the time Okay, take care and God bless them.